Hey everybody, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Kind of excited about this because this is a real classic retro looking statue. And this is the Savage Hulk. And this is from Bowen Designs. This was Randy Bowen's statue company. And he made a whole bunch of these before it eventually closed down, unfortunately. Let me start off with the box first. I like the box. And pretty much the box on all of the Bowen statues I appreciated. I had a whole bunch of these and sold so many off over the years because I just, you know, eventually there's too many and you have to get rid of them and whatever. So it's, it's sad, but, you know, time to move on. Anyway, this is one of the statues that kind of survived the sell-off. And this is the Savage Hulk. Again, it stands over 15 inches tall. So back to the box. I always like their box design because you really always know what's inside the box. So you, if you have this, you know, stacked up in a closet or if it's stored away somewhere and, or whatever, you know exactly what the statue looks like. So this is a savage version of Hulk. And typically the savage version was the Hulk that's more so kind of mindless Hulk. This particular statue also came in a variant, which I owned, <laughs> and I sadly sold it off. And the variant was a dark green version where the Hulk was more like this, and mouth was open kind of like that, but not quite as ugly as I'm making it. Probably, you know, half as ugly when Hulk does it. <laughs> but, um, you know, this statue has a very different face and a very different color. It's a uh, light green, whereas that one was a very dark green so it was a very like you know dark green version of hulk whereas this is the lighter version and you know the face again looked different the face on this hulk reminds me of the hulk from like the i guess maybe the 1980s version hulk from the comics so the statue i think overall i think it's a great looking statue what i like about it is that it's kind of i guess like most of the statues that were made from bowen they were kind of more comic book looking or more cartoony looking than say the statues from a company like Sideshow where they're more I guess realistic or you know how the superhero would be if it was more you know real life. So this statue is all one piece. The base is attached okay. The base is all attached. It's not a separate base and this is how it comes. A great thing to own if you're a statue collector or home theater or whatever is get yourself a pair of gloves like these with rubber palms. You can grab anything, they stick, and you don't have to worry about it. Also, you don't have to worry about handprints and cleaning things off after it. Not that I would ever touch something like this without washing my hands first, but I mean, it's just a hell of a lot easier than, you know, having to worry about it. And apparently too, the, you know, the natural, you know, body oils from your, you know, hands, you know, you really don't want it on the paint and whatever, if, if possible. So let's talk a little bit more about the statue. Now, again, this, this Hulk is a very light green color, whereas the variant was a dark green. I like it because it's just kind of like very comic book looking overall. The face is pretty cool. It's got that hair that I remember the most. And I guess when you're growing up with the Hulk comics from the, you know, the 1970s into the 80s, you know, this is probably the, the hairstyle that you're going to remember more. And it's a pretty cool looking statue because you can see just how big the Hulk is. You know, they made the arms extra big and they got these like real deep indents to kind of show the muscles and the paint is, is like a little bit of a darker green to kind of add to like, you know, the depth of the Hulk's muscles. The back's pretty big looking. It's more so kind of like a puffy looking Hulk versus some of the other, you know, drawings of the Hulk or, you know, the other comic books where the artists made the Hulk more, um, you know, defined, vascular looking. So it's kind of just more of like a puffy, you know, bulky looking Hulk. And the pants are nice, you know, the pants are kind of torn and they're kind of sticking out over here as well. I like the pants, I like that it's, it's frayed on the top. This Hulk isn't very well uh, proportioned, so to speak. You know, kind of when I look at it, it looks like, like the calves look like they're almost bigger than the thighs, which is kind of interesting. The thighs just look, thighs look just too small. You can see, 
and kind of really small over here like the Hulk hasn't been doing squats. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a cool looking statue overall, not to, you know, pick it apart too much. Feet are kind of nice looking, get that box dust off of it. Check out the, check out the feet. There it goes, and a little piece of box foam dust is finally gone. The base is just kind of the standard crack cement or mountain top or whatever it might be. Let's get a good zoom in of the face. You can see the eyes, the eyes look pretty cool too. Nice looking overall. Check out the hair. And that's got a close up look of the torso. So yeah, so you can see what I'm saying. It's more just like a puffy looking Hulk, a bulky looking Hulk. And I think that Savage Hulk was one of the larger versions of the Hulk. And I think that the largest version of the Hulk, of course, the strength didn't scale with anger or anything like that, was that Banner Hulk or the uh, Professor Hulk. And not like the junk that was in the movie, the Mark Ruffalo junk. <laughs> I really, really, really don't like that version at all um, of Banner and, um, you know, of... I mean, the Hulk version is kind of okay, but the um, the... The Banner Hulk in uh, the Avengers was just a real, just a real disappointment. And just the overall Mark Ruffalo version of um, Banner, the acting was just ugh, probably the worst version of Banner, I think, um, of, of all the Banners out there. And, you know, while I'm talking about Banner, um, Eric Banner, which I wish that they would just have him come back because I think that, you know, over the years, his acting has improved so much considering that Hulk movie was like his, you know, his first movie. I think that if he was to come back, it would be, you know, fantastic. But I'm kind of getting off topic talking about Avengers movie now and, and Hulks and, and I'm complaining. So I'm going to wrap this up. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for stopping by. It's a great statue if you could, you know, catch one of these i guess you know you'd have to pick it up you know used or you know from some collector somewhere thanks again have a great day